Halal Islamic Lab coach, he said, I marry her but I don't love her. I just marry her because I thought she was her sister. They both wearing makeup. It's my mistake for not asking her older sisters, maybe for deciding my marrying her. I fall the first time, but I marry the wrong girl. I just found out everything. I just found out my mistake when we got married. I am disappointed to the point that I didn't treat her well. I never sleep beside her. I never kiss her for him. I never said I love you to her. I always make her feel that I don't love her. What if she wanted to leave me and break my marriage, see me do it freely. I didn't wake up her up, perform our sala. Instead, she wake me up everything. But I never stand in the front of her to be her imam. But she, she never failed to do everything for me as my wife. She take care of me more than I deserve. She keep on smiling on me even though I know that she's being deeply hurt inside. She keeps on telling me I love you. In the morning afternoon, when we are going to sleep, she sincerely performed his salah with me from a distance. Till one day, I shouted at her because she accidentally ruined my favorite t-shirt. She didn't say anything to me instead of looking down and cries. And when I turned my back to her, I heard some noise from her place that caused me to look to her again. I can't move my feet because we scared looking at her and confused. My turns fall without me knowing it. My heart beat, it's like racing for past, that my every breath becomes so hard for me. Subhanallah. I ran to her. I tried to call her name many times to wake up her. But she didn't open her eyes. I shouted for help to her. I shouted for help to our neighbors. When we reached the hospital, when I heard what the doctor said, I felt like I lost my strength. This is not true. I kept on repeating it to myself. She is in her last stage, the doctor said. Last stage? I asked the doctor. She has a cancer. We keep on treating her since the first day she visited us, but she seemed like she didn't make it, he answered. How did that happen? You're not telling the truth, I said in injury. You must be her husband. She tell us that she wanted to get well become of you. She wanted to be with you, to take care of you. You are the only reason why she wanted to live more. But I guess she can't make it anymore. She been suffering for long. All we can do is make do up for her. Only Allah can make those impossible things to happen. Just keep your faith, he said, on top my shoulder and walk away. Remembering that the doctor said, make my fault that I am the worst husband. I am a monster. How can I treat her like that for long without knowing that she's being suffering? How could I? Looking at her laying in the hospital bed, make me realize one thing. I found that I love her. I love do. I really do love her. But I become blind for not noticing it. I let my emotion hide that I really fall toward her. I forgot the other is still existing. I forgot that marrying her is not a mistake but it's fit. I forgot that everything happened because it's for a best. I forgot that Allah plan is a better than what I wanted. Now I am in so much regret. 
She opened her eyes, she looked around, and when our eyes met, she smiled genuinely. Sorry, she said in a love tune. And again, my tears flow. Instantly, I had her so tight. It should be me. Sorry, sorry for everything. Please don't leave me. I love you. Please, I cried hard. Don't see that. I'm, I'm not leaving you. And don't lie to just become I'm sick. I know you love my sister so bad, she said. I look at her. How did she know? But it was before. Everything changed, but I didn't notice it. Haha, <laughs> it's obviously yeah, Sawi yeah. Sawi, don't tell me that you love me because you see me like this. Don't fall sorry to me because it's my fate. I wanted to take care of you for long, but I can't do it anymore. I wanted to say I love you every time until we grow old, but I can't do it anymore. I wanted to make you fall that I am most lucky woman for every for marrying you thank you I always ask Allah that if in case I can't wake you up anymore everything puzzled that the azan react your soul and wake you everything she said still smiling at me no you can't leave me please don't I bet she just smiled and kissed my forehead. This is the very first time that I kiss your forehead that you are awake. I always kiss your forehead when you are sleeping so tight. Can I ask you a favor? She asked. I didn't answer her. I can talk. Let's perform our salah together. Can we be my imam? She said, smiling, I can't help me on my thirst. I can't stop it. I can. Since it's time for Salatul Maghrib and it's Friday night, we pray together. She managed to stand up just to perform her Salah. While performing my Salah and being her my Imam, my thirst is falling. When I said Assalamu Alaikum, I saw her still in her so good, she not moving anymore. I wanted to turn her, but I continuously made dua. I ask Allah, I ask Him that He may give her peace and let her enter Jannah. I know she's Ghana, but my love for her still forever. Along with having a life that is surely better, there is no age limit for death. If it's your time, it's your time. You can die without any sickness. You can die even though you are not old. You can die even though you are not ready. You can die even though you still wanted to stay for your loved ones. You can die if Allah wanted. Everything happened for a reason, but Surely that reason might be reason that you may realize something and regret something. As long as someone is there to love you, take care for you, be grateful and make them feel the same way. Because indeed no one stay for lifetime. Everything and everything will leave you behind, either by choice nor its destiny. Thank you very much and before you leave, Please subscribe my channel to support me. Thank you and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.